Hello class. So let us now write your first Java programs. After installing your NetBeans IDE, open it and then you will be prompted with this windows. This is how usually the NetBeans IDE looks like at first. So you have there the menu bar, the toolbars, and the tabs that you're going to use as you write your program. We have the projects tabs, files tabs, and services tabs. Let's try creating now new project. How to create new project? So you click file, new project. In the new project dialog box, so enlarge this one. the categories pane you choose make sure that the java folder is selected and in the uh, project section select java application and then click next the new java application dialog box will appear this is where you're going to write your project name and then you select location for your Java program files so we're going to name the project make sure to write your last name first every time you create a project in a class so that is our standard or default instructions in writing java projects in java class again in your project name make sure to write first your last name so for example kahandab and then the name of the project java introduction Make sure to capitalize the first letter of the word to separate it from the other words. Now you click Browse to save file. In your chosen location, for example, desktop. And then you have there the folder. You create new folder if you want. On your desktop. So name the folder with your last name again. For example, kind of. Java folder. Then open, open the folder. And I'll rename it. Type error. Then Java folder. Then click it to open. Remember that you have saved your file in the desktop with your Java folder file. And now make sure that this one is unselected. If for example it is selected, make sure that it is unselected. And then click finish.
so this is now your first project as you can see this is the project you created java with your last name then java introduction if you can see the other sections you simply click this one and then click on the source package to see what's inside and now let us create the your first class so right click under the source packages section right click the default package select new select other never mind the other options you will learn it as we go along with our study so click other this is actually another way of writing java project or java class there are actually so many ways how to do it this is just one way now in the new file dialog box on the category section make sure that the java is selected and then on the file types section you choose java class rather java main class so we're going to select you're going to select the java main class and then click next Now on the class name, again as I have told you earlier, you have to always type your last name first. For example, and then the class name which is uh, Hello World. Okay, again do not forget to write your last name in every class you will create okay so this is our file name for the sample project and then click finish button so by default you can see here the template for writing your first Java program. So again, let's take a look at the main parts of our NetBeans ID. We have here the projects hub. We have the file tabs, the services tab. So as we go along with our discussion, we will uh, go beyond with all this and now this is our navigator tab and this is where we are going to edit our program and this is where we could see our output program okay as you can see on the first part of your template we have there the comment section you can edit the comment section in your comment section always remember to type the description of the class you are writing we'll be looking for that every time we check your code make sure that at the upper part of your program of your class there's a description of your class so for example this is a sample program sample java 
program to display hello world. Okay. So this is how are we going to write comment with this using this special character slash and asterisk. Now for this one, you replace this with your name. This is a proof that you are the one who writes the code, originally write the codes. You write your full name here. For your nickname. So after editing the comment, the comment at the top of your program, you may now write your first instruction. So at line 17, highlight it and replace it with your instruction. So since you are going to display the hello world, so you type the command system that out that print line so the system that out that print line is the command one of the command we use to display the a certain text or phrase so enclose your text or phrase with double code so hello world notice that as you write your program there's a red dot here saying that there's an error in this line. So this one guides you or assists you telling you that there are errors that you need to fix before you run your program. So as you can see, it says there semicolon expected. Okay, so now let's save your work, save the class you created, click file, save, or simply press Control S, Control key on the keyboard, plus S, simultaneous with the S. And then you run the program to check. If it is working so click on the run tab and the menu the menu bar and then choose run file or simply press shift plus f6 all right so there you go so as you can see in the output pane you can see the result of your class for the first program you created. Now let's edit the program you had just created. So let's replace this, copy paste this one, control C, control V. Let us replace this with your name. So for example, yeah, hello mom says, and then let's add 
welcome to our programming our Java programming class okay again save your work Control S and then run the program shift plus F6 and there you are your output so this is now your first Java program congratulations so see you again on the next job of projects. Goodbye class.